and welcome to a new video and today we are taking a closer look at a station, the BER Airport Terminal 5 station and we are also taking a train from there to Elsterwerda and then back from Ostkreuz to this station here on the map you can see the route today but this video will be mostly about the railway station that we can see here right now. We're starting at the BER Airport Terminal 5 station. This is the former station of the Berlin Schönefeld Airport and this former Schönefelder Airport was supposed to be the Terminal 5 of the new BER Airport and that is why this station is now called BER Airport Terminal 5 but the plans were cancelled, Terminal 5 will not be used anymore in the future, it was closed due to the pandemic and will not reopen so nowadays this station is mostly only an S-Bahn station and you can see it is a huge station. It was constructed for regional trains and long distance trains. Most of those are not stopping here anymore. You can see one of the platforms is already completely closed. And nowadays there are only two regional trains stopping at this station. And this is also only for a short period of time. Sooner or later all regional trains will stop at the BER Terminal 1 and 2 station instead. But due to constructions at the day that I was here, even more trains were stopping here at this station. Also the RE8 that is usually going from Berlin to Elsterwerda was stopping here at Terminal 5 and here we can see it arriving. It was quite hard to find my train at all because it was not shown on the screens at the station as this train was only stopping here for a very short period of time, just a few days. This train was diverted. Usually it's going from the main station via Südkreuz in the direction of Dresden to Elsterwerda. But on these few days it was starting at Berlin-Lichtenberg and was going via Ostkreuz and BER Airport Terminal 5 to Elsterwerda instead and of course I wanted to see this interesting station in use so I decided to make a trip with this train and now we're heading to the station of Elsterwerda. Here you can see the huge platform of this station it was as you can see clearly constructed for long distance trains and nowadays it keeps losing importance until in the near future it will be only a small S-Bahn station. The railway line that we are on now is also usually only operated by S-Bahn trains until the point right here. Here we are now meeting the railway line coming from the Terminal 1 and 2. Usually all trains are using this railway line instead now. The station Terminal 5 lost almost all long distance trains quite a while ago when the New Berlin main station was opened in 2006. Most trains were going via Südkreuz to the new main station. So almost no more long distance trains were stopping at Terminal 5. In 2020 there was a new intercity line from Rostock to Dresden that was supposed to stop at the BER airport and until the station of the new BER airport was opened this train was stopping at the Schönefeld station instead but now this train also serves the BER airport terminal 1 and 2 station instead. As you saw the station is quite big that is because it has several important meanings over the years not only that it was a long distance train station. It was also a border station between East and West Germany and later on it was also used as a refugee welcome station and also as a vaccination center during the pandemic. But nowadays it is only just a small regional station and as Terminal 5 will not be reopened it is also not very important anymore. We 
Meanwhile, we reached Dobaluk Kirchhain and from here on we are going to Elsterwerda, which we are reaching now. So we are jumping now to the station of Berlin Ostkreuz where I will reboard the RE8 and now we are going back to the BER Terminal 5 station. And now we can also take a closer look at this interesting station. Here we are now leaving the station Ostkreuz and now we are going via Berlin Schöneweide to BER Airport Terminal 5. This railway line is frequently used currently. There are two regional trains that are still regularly running from BER Terminal 5, but sooner or later also these regional trains will divert to uh, Terminal 1 and 2. At the end of this year, when there's the change in the schedule, the station will be renamed to Schönefeld by Berlin and the currently called BER Terminal 1 and 2 station will just be called BER Airport Station. So the BER Airport Terminal 5 station will receive its old name back when it was opened in 1951. It was also called Schönefeld by Berlin. And here we are reaching the station. Now it is time for me to leave the train again. We can see one more time how big the platforms are. And once again, we can clearly see that this station was built for long distance trains. The platform that I am arriving on right now is not used regularly anymore. Usually all the regional trains are stopping at a different platform. So this platform is only used for diverted trains. And from here we can go to the left here we have the exit to the city of Schönefeld, but we are not going up there, we are going back and now we can see how huge this tunnel under the tracks is. It's really, really impressive to see. Here we have the clear markings where we have to go if you want to go to the actual airport. You have to change to the S-Bahn, going two more stations until you reach Terminal 1 and 2. I think here on the left side was the access to the station building, which is unfortunately not accessible anymore, completely closed nowadays. As I said, it was used as a refugees welcome station and also as a vaccination center, but nowadays it is completely closed. Here we can go up the stairs and now take a look to the left and here we can at least see the station building. See also quite a big building, it used to have a few shops, but completely closed nowadays. And on the other side we have the covered walkway to the airport of Berlin Schönefeld or now Berlin BER Terminal 5. But as this terminal is also closed, all of this is not in use anymore. So it's a very, very interesting station to see as it is completely oversized for its meaning and purpose right now. And it kind of feels like a still living lost place, so giving a very special vibe. So if you're in the area, it's very interesting to visit. I can recommend just stopping there for a short bit and taking a look at this station. It's very, very interesting. I hope this video was interesting for you as well, because that's it for this video. If you'd like the video, please consider to comment, like, subscribe or share the video link. And as always, here you can see when the next video will be uploaded and the name of the song. And I hope to see you in my next video.